Get ready to join the rebellion. This is the Babylon Rebel Series. A paddle to meet any of your needs, the Rebel Series features a poly core and a graphite skin composite hitting surface for explosive power and pinpoint accuracy. The Rebel comes in both a lightweight 7.6 ounce touch model for both lightning quick maneuverability and a soft feel and a heavier weighted 8.1 ounce power paddle for the player focused on ground stroke power and stability. Now as mentioned, this paddle comes in both a lighter 7.6 version and a heavier power in the 8.1 version. Now they're the same exact paddle, everything's the same minus the weight. But immediately when I grabbed these things, I gravitated toward the touch paddle, the lighter version, just because it is lighter. I like that in a paddle, but also to me, it felt like it was headlight as well. And what that brought out of my game is a lot of whippiness, a lot of wrist action, and just super maneuverable, which I really like. Being a racquetball player, I use a lot of wrist in my game, so I felt like anytime my opponent would snap the ball at me, I could almost snap the ball back at him just because it was so light. And because it's lighter too, I was able to swing it faster, so I was able to generate my own power. So what I kind of made this thing into is like an SUV that can carry a lot of people, but it gets great gas mileage and it's got 400 horsepower. To me, this thing had all the makings of an absolutely great paddle. Now the power paddle for me was a little bit heavier, so the 8.1 ounces, but it felt like the weight was up in the head part of the paddle, which slowed my swing down a little bit. I didn't like it nearly as much as the touch, but if you're a player that has kind of a slower swing, need a paddle to generate a lot of power, or you like to just be up in the kitchen, this thing is great for blocking. It's good for ground strokes if you do have that slower swing. Now overall, if you guys are a blocker, if you're a dinker or a banger, the Rebel is gonna have a paddle for you. The first thing I noticed when I was hitting these paddles was the difference in weight. The Rebel Touch is weighted at 7.6, and it felt head light to me. The Rebel Power is weighted at 8.1, and it felt head heavy. So it felt like a lot more than just a half ounce difference. So with the Touch, I felt like I had a lot of maneuverability at the net. I could react to my opponent's shots, and when opponents would drive shots at me, I could actually hit an offensive shot instead of just popping it back to them. So with the Rebel Power, I felt like I was able to generate a lot more spin and a lot more ball speed on my serves and on my ground strokes, but I did feel like I lost a little bit of that maneuverability at the net. Overall, I preferred the touch because I feel like it catered towards my aggressive style of play at the net. Between the Rebel Power and the Rebel Touch, like Ben, I also preferred the Rebel Touch, which surprised me because I have been playing with a paddle that weighs in around eight ounces, and typically I prefer the heavier option when given two weight options, but with the Rebel Touch paddle, I felt like it stood true to its name and it simply offered me better touch and feel than the power, and it offered me better maneuverability, which of course was great for being able to react quickly, but because it was so whippy, I found I could also get decent power out of the paddle. The standout feature to me was when I was moving forward into net. Overall, I found the paddle had a pretty soft response, and so it really catered well when I was playing more of a touch game, trying to tap into more crafty shots, and up at net when I was hitting my dings. It was really easy to put spin on the ball, and the balls were just dipping really low over the net and staying really short, so I thought it really played well up there. And if I was trying to play flatter or go for more of a power game, I thought the response could get a bit lively and the balls would pop up, so I felt like the paddle really forced me to keep my game in check. It made me kind of change my game up a little bit to where I was just really focused on touch and placement, and I felt that that really benefited my game well. If I had to give it one knock, it would be that I felt that the paddle was maybe just a little too soft for my taste and that I was missing a little bit of feel off the paddle to better gauge the direction and depth of my shots and a little bit of consistency in my shots there. But overall, I think if you're someone who likes that softer feel and you're looking to really enhance your touch game and outlast your opponents in those long dink rallies, this Rebel Touch is going to be one to definitely check out. Well, that wraps up the review of the Babolat Rebel Series. If you guys want to see any more information, the specs or any technologies, Click the link below in the description, or as always, visit us at TotalPickleball.com.